Good afternoon, my name is Rory with Kind LED Grow Lights and today I am super excited to show you the all new Kind LED X420 Grow Light. Just check out this gorgeous light. It's got a nice slim profile, that smooth anodized finish. Just from taking this thing out of the box, you can see what solid quality build construction it has. Uh, it's sized to fit perfectly in a two x four grow tent. Uh, it's gonna fill that edge to edge. Uh, it could even get away with the three x five or a little bit of a larger space uh, if you're growing outside of a tent. You can see it's got three thin bars here. Each features an array of whites, blues, reds, far reds, and infrared and ultraviolet diodes. Kind LED grow lights are targeted full spectrum lights. What does that mean? It means we represent every wavelength along the photosynthetic spectrum in the proportion that plants are going to absorb them. Why is that important? It means that there's no waste at all. We are not sending photons out of this fixture that that plant is not gonna utilize in some way, shape, or form to get you the harvest that you're looking for. A lot of LED grow light companies out there, you know, they, most of them really are the same fixture, just packaged slightly differently. They all have the white diodes and then the far reds speckled in there. Why is everybody doing that? Quite frankly, I don't know because that's not what answers to plants. Anytime that you're relying on those white diodes to deliver blue to your plants, you're gonna be oversupplying yellow and green. So maybe one of the reasons that they're doing it uh, is because white diodes are more readily available, they're cheaper, the technology is further along, so they can advertise a high efficacy rating. Look how high my efficacy rating is. Great, but here's the problem. That efficacy means nothing for what the plants are going to use and absorb. So let me ask you this. If the plant is only absorbing 60% of that yellow and green getting pushed out by that high efficacy white diode, how efficient is that? It's not. That's why we use a true targeted full spectrum, not sleeping on blue, and delivering exactly what the plant needs at every stage of growth. How does that translate to your grow? In the vegetative stage, you're gonna see faster, bushier growth with tighter internodal spacing. And all of those metrics in an optimized veg set the stage for what's gonna be a really productive flower with a harvest that you could be drooling over and really proud of, right? So that's what separates the X420 from virtually every other light on the market today. This light has some extra features added on that make it extra badass. It's got two separate channels here for the targeted full spectrum that we just spoke of. So that is dimmable uh, from zero to 100% and I'll do that for you now. So this is with the light off. Believe it or not, when we just had it on, that's only 25%. I don't know if the camera could pick up how bright that is, but that's 25%. We'll kick this up to 50, 75, Put on your sunglasses, here's 100%. So that is blinding, and there are a ton of usable photons in that bright light that are gonna have your plants jumping for joy. Now, I'm gonna dim this back down again so you can see the secret weapon on this light. UV and infrared wavelengths are outside, technically outside of the photosynthetic spectrum, but they're super important, and let me try to explain why. They are harmful rays. They're naturally occurring in sunlight. So plants are exposed to some level of ultraviolet and infrared in nature. They're harmful rays, just like they are for us. If we go out into the sun, we put on sunblock so we don't get a sunburn, right? Well, the plants have to protect themselves in that manner as well. And so how do they do that? They do that by coating themselves with resins and producing trichomes, which is exactly what we're after, right? So if we can control the amount of exposure of those harmful rays at the right stage of growth, we are gonna kick their resin production and trichome production into overdrive. It's gonna lead to extremely potent and tasty flowers. So that is completely unique in this array. Some lights out there have ultraviolet and infrared, but they're part of the main channel. 
So you're, you're delivering those harmful rays during veg when you don't want them, or you can only deliver one amount. And based on these plants' natural habitats, they are gonna be exposed to different amounts of uh, UV and IR, and so their genetics can handle different amounts. So it is really important for that to be on a dimmable channel so you can control that output, so you can step it up and find that sweet spot for your plants that you're growing to maximize your harvest.